the rice is gone. Back from work. Fire's on. Right, see that there? That's cold ashes. Now, last week, before I went, I emptied the ash pan into there. Just picked it up. And rather than throw it on beds there, I decided to throw it up to the tomato house. But, not thinking, we've got dry compost in there. And there's the result. And luckily, I was uh, I was going to do this this year anyway, so that's just made my mind up. I'm putting wood across the front and the back, and probably around the sides. A bit like the poly tunnel, but I'm having wood just to keep it warmer in here. But that box, I think that box is gone. Not done much damage, it couldn't have really burned down this. It's on air. But done a bit of damage anyway. I'll need to get some wood today and sort that out. So, top tip kids, don't put our tashes in dry compost. It's not so bad on wet compost, makes it lovely. But, uh, not on dry. Uh, where's that kettle? Uh, I've just got some wood. If I do that, uh, polytunnel tunnel with tomorrow. So, I'll get that sorted in the morning, but. Uh, Doing a job at home today because this conservatory roof it's freezing in here because all the heat goes out this roof and it's not good anyway, it's too warm in summer. So, what I've got is this uh, fascia board, plastic fascia board, and I've cut it to length. I'm going to screw it to there, and then in there, I'm going to put some of this polystyrene. And I've got all my screws and clips and that. And I've also got some lights like them up a lot. And so I'll just dot them about, because I've only got that light in here. So, and then it'll be, just stop the heat going out that then. And then my nephew, when he gets a chance, he's a roofer, but he's, building, he's busy. So he's going to put us a proper roof on there, over top of outside. But in the meantime, I'm going to put this on. So I'll get rid of that skanky roof. It's always mucky anyway. It comes out at gutter. Pigeon crap and everything. I'll get that on there anyway. Mm, back here. Kettle is on. Another day. I've got some of that uh, feather edge. And I've just done that side. I shifted that piece of plastic from the bottom there. Put it to the top there. And we'll just go do that side same. So I might end up doing that all the way around. Just at that art. It should keep it a bit uh, cooler and warmer in there. It gets too warm in summer. It gets too cold in winter. So, yeah, it looks alright. Huh? Put my nose up. And I'll get that side done. There you go, that both sides done. It'll take me half an hour. Henry's been on this morning. He's, uh, Shut that uh, daily up and put it in compost. I'm going to need a flag, but you can't see it. Not blowing. And basically, it's like a picture of the shed here. Something like that. And it's got like a, well, there you go, it's blowing open now. It's got a pink sky on the top. I didn't realise it was so pink on the picture, but it looks okay. And it's double sided as well. There you go, it's flying. So, Belton, loads of wood left too. So, looks okay, that, doesn't it? I might just carry a tunnel all the way around that. 
because it won't look so bad. And then get a new top for it, because that's only cheap. I think it's only about 15 quid for that piece. And then smarten it up a bit. But yeah, it looks okay, that. Plus it could keep it warmer inside <coughs> all winter. I'll have to get rid of that. It still stinks of smoke in here. Yeah, I could box it off on the inside with uh, some more wood, pallet wood or something. I'm going to insulate it at the bottom, I'll do that. Same as that one. But uh, it doesn't take too much light off, does it? Because it's only at the bottom. Tomatoes don't need it, though. that's the roots. You need it all up here, so... Might just be a little project, that. Get a couple of packs of that wood and uh, have it here and just do a bit of... Time every time I'm up. Shouldn't take long, just put a string along the top and bottom and screw it to. I'll leave that plastic on for an insulation. Fire's cracking away now. So yeah, so that's that done. So I've got warm now and uh, finish that ceiling off. Nearly finish that. So we'll have a look at that up there in a bit. Back here with nutter one and nutter two. Peter got this for last night. So I've got that little bit do the do this camera looks funny. Hang on. That's better. Don't know what was up there. Yeah, so I've got that side done. And uh, up to there. So I've got this piece for put back on because I had to take it off. Because uh, it slipped out at that side and I didn't see. And I've got all my lights in ready. So, so I had to take it all off, add it all up. And then I was up to this last piece here. I'm gonna crack on with that now and get that done, but it's looking all right. It's all insulated behind. Just keep packing it behind as I'm putting them on. There's all the wires and that's for them the lights. Yeah, crash on with that after I've made a brew. I have to empty out in here first. So that's it. All done. All done except for I've got the wrong stuff, I need some angle for here because the roof leak it lifts up like, can you see? so I need the angle on there to hold it up and then just finish that corner off there all the way up and along the front as well that side, I've put that on but it's not the right stuff so it does hold it up but of a fashion so I've just ordered some off Amazon. It's coming uh, on the 30th, it said. So once all that's on, it'll just all level it off because I'll stick it to that. It's up and down even there, can you see? I'll stick it to that, bring it down and screw it to the other side. And it'll level all that up then. It'll bring that down. And level that up there. But I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna wait till tonight now and uh, hopefully it'll be warmer in there. That'll do anyway. So see you later. Lovely day today.